Running your business on an ERP software suite such as JD Edwards Enterprise One requires the setup and maintenance of multiple different kinds of servers, from web servers, to database servers, to deployment servers, to enterprise batch and logic servers. And the continual monitoring of those servers that system administrators must regularly perform for any unexpected behavior, from reports failing to complete successfully to slowness in system performance, requires the ability to gather system logs and configuration files quickly in order to troubleshoot issues most efficiently as they arise, minimizing system downtime, and ensuring continuity for business critical processes. But because there is not a single location on any given server where log files and configuration files are stored, Oracle JD Edwards developers introduced a new Server Manager graphical interface tool in the 9234 tools release of Enterprise One called Simplified Diagnostics Collector, which allows administrators a one-stop shopping method of gathering logs and configuration files across multiple different servers, all from one location, using one convenient web interface. Let's take a closer look at the layout and functionality of the Simplified Diagnostics Collector. First of all, in order to access the Simplified Diagnostics Collector, you must log into the Server Manager console, which is typically located on the Enterprise One deployment server. From there, on the left-hand side of the screen, we can open the Simplified Diagnostics Collector by clicking on the Collect and Generate Diagnostics link under the Diagnostics section. On that screen, we can see four distinct sections representing the locations that we can gather logs and configuration files from the deployment server, the enterprise server, the HTML server, and server manager console. Each section has a drop-down list in the middle, showing each of the different servers of that type located in your setup. And then in each of the different sections, you can select the server in the drop-down list that you want to get information from, and then check the boxes next to the options that you want to gather information about from that server. Click Collect and Generate, and then a download link to a zip file will appear below the Collect and Generate button with all of the information that you requested. For example, on the deployment server, if I were troubleshooting an issue with a software update patch installation for JD Edwards software, I would select the ESU install issue or electronic software update install issue button, which will collect a JDE log and then multiple report outputs that are related specifically to electronic software updates. Or let's say that I had an installation issue with a Windows web development client for one of my developers to use for debugging code. So I would select the deployment server. In this case, there's only one. And then check the One World Client install files option which would gather information specific to the One World Client install. Or let's say that I had an issue on the enterprise server with a particular report, or UBE, Universal Batch Engine. Let's say it's a payroll report, R07200. I would select the UBE output link, and then type in the name of the UBE, and click on Collect and Generate and the zip file link will appear below the Collect and Generate button. Or say on my web server, I had something that was particular to that web server, select it from the drop-down menu, click on the HTML Logs option, click Collect and Generate, and the download link will appear below the Collect and Generate button. Or lastly, let's say that I had to check out some user ID setups because of a particular security issue. And I wanted to see how the user IDs were set up in the security table F00950. I would select the server from Server Manager Console. In this case, there's only one. Select CNC Tables option, which would gather multiple tables, including the one that I'm looking for, F00950, in XML format. And then click Collect and Generate and the downloadable zip file link will appear below the Collect and Generate button. These are just a few examples of the ways in which a JD Edwards CNC administrator might use Simplified Diagnostics Collector 
to gather information quickly to troubleshoot a system in-house issue or to upload the requested information to Oracle support to troubleshoot an issue for which they'd opened a service request. But more detailed information can be found in our master knowledge document on the issue, document 256-4285.2, which contains all of the required prerequisites as well as detailed steps that go into greater depth of the issues that were covered in this short overview presentation, including a section on reporting issues, bugs, as well as uh, enhancement requests for this tool in future iterations. This concludes the high-level overview of the Oracle Simplified Diagnostics Collector introduced in Enterprise One Tools Release 9234.